Hello, my name is Caroline Cardinal. I am an application scientist for molecular devices. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to do a plate template with one standard curve and some unknown with no dilution. Here, the well will be assigned to the different groups so the calculations are done automatically. The best way to start a plate template is to start from a specific protocol. Into the protocol menu, protocol manager, protocol library, choose the endpoint protocol. With that protocol, when you assign the well to your standard and the well to your unknowns, the standard curve will be plotted automatically and the back calculation of your unknown will be done also automatically. So in order to access template editor, you can do this from the plate menu or from the top main menu. Select the template editor. The template editor window will appear and you can select the wells for your standard. Choose only from the group of that protocol. So select the standard group for the standard wells. You can edit that group and change the name if you want to, or change the color. You will then have the table that will be generated for that group. So you'll have all the calculation to be carried out, sample name, concentration, back calculated concentration, well ID, value given by the reader, the mean value, the standard deviation and the CVs. You can also add two columns, two descriptors, such as the concentration, dilution, percentage, and for the unit, you can choose from the drop down menu or type the unit of your choice. Click OK. If you've done a dilution series for your standard, click the series button. You will then have to define your series with a series layout. So are you going from top to bottom? bottom to top, left to right, and then you have to define how your replicates are working with the plate. So how many do you have in the X direction and how many in the Y direction? Then you can enter the initial concentration and the step. Here we divide it by three. Click OK. And here you can see that the software has assigned different name to the duplicates. And if you select descriptor, you can see that the calculation of the concentration for each triplicate has been done automatically. Select the well for the plate blank, select plate blank, then select the well for the unknown, and choose the unknown group. Select Edit to access to that group, and here you have an example of the table generated, and you will have the value given by the reader if they are within range, the back calculated concentration from the standard curve, the standard deviation, and the CVs. You can also have some sample descriptor added. Click OK. Now we're going to select the service button so the software can assign different names to the different replicates. Here again, you're going to have to change the layout of the series if you need to, so top to bottom, and the number of uh, replicates. So in here, we're going to have three replicates in the X direction and one replicate in the Y direction for the replicate of the unknown. Once you've clicked OK, you can see that the software has assigned the different names to the various replicates. And it has done that automatically. If you select the descriptor, you can have the concentration of your standard. And once you click OK, you can see that now the plate is color coded according to the various group. We'll have the standard table where all the calculation has been done automatically because we've chosen the standard group from that protocol. Same for the unknown, calculation done automatically because we've chosen the unknown from that protocol. The standard curve will be here. The only thing we need to do is change the curve fit to the appropriate curve fit of our standards. Here we're choosing the four parameter curve fit for the assay. 